Woodrow Wilson led America to victory in the war that was rightly called the Great War, the First World War, the greatest the United States had ever fought. Simultaneously, Woodrow Wilson fought another great war, the greatest ever waged against hunger and pestilence, famine and disease. In this crusade, his commander was Herbert Hoover, who was also high in the councils that set the conduct of the war itself. The French people idolized Woodrow Wilson. He was the hope of the war-weary masses of all Europe. But when he left France for his own country, for Washington, he found a hostile element in the U.S. Senate that bitterly opposed his idea for a League of Nations. Woodrow Wilson then set out across the country in a valorous attempt to rally the American people to his shining visions. The abolition of war from the earth forever. What happened during his years of ordeal? What happened to the man himself? The tragic story of the 28th president of the United States, a Democrat, is told now in a unique historical tribute by the 31st president of the United States a Republican, by Herbert Hoover. He speaks out of personal experience almost half a century after the events because he believes the ideals of America's great should be kept fresh in American memory. I served for three years directly under Woodrow Wilson in Washington and at the Peace Conference in Paris. I came to know his philosophy of life, his humane spirit, and his idealism. I saw him rise to the highest intellectual leadership of mankind in all history. I was a witness to the ordeals which beset him and the tragedy which finally enveloped him and the whole world. <laughs> 